So seconds away from kickoff. Adam G in the middle. And assisted on the touch lines by Robert Hicks from the UK and Michael Wise. Congratulations to all officials appointed to this game. A truly historic occasion at Brisbane Stadium. We've been waiting a long time for this. The two nations that have dominated the recent World Cup competition. The Gillaroos come into this match as the defending champion. And as you'd expect, the Australians very quickly up in the faces of the New Zealand ball carriers. Great run by Mau Mau, the 25-year-old. They operate on the broadcast side of the ground now. Gee, isn't Brigginshaw playing with a sense of urgency? The Tillaru six, gritting her teeth and ripping in, she plays it. She spoke about it before leading into this game, how excited she was and how much more of a relaxed player she's been since coming back from injury. She's been a whole 12 months on the sideline with a broken leg and you can just really see her coming into her own this tournament. This can't stop good break. Inside, the ball goes to Davis Wells on the outside now. she has had Isabel Kelly well the left edge has been superb this is a great play the inside ball to Renee Cunts the power the speed and talk about power and speed Davis Welsh on to Isabel Kelly the opening four pointer to the Gillaroos four points to nil at Brisbane Stadium she's played nine tests for New Zealand coming into the World Cup tournament for 2017 Confronted by Steph Hancock in a big tackle. Rorta, away to the number eight, Mau Mau. Hard and straight, good chance for New Zealand now. They're five metres out from the Australian line. This is McGregor. Oh, long pass over the top to Hirame. And Honey Hirame gets try number 12. Wow. And New Zealand, let's watch this pass again. Well, the Gillaroos seem to have enough numbers there. But it was just the pass. Here and me holding that width out on the left edge there. Doesn't she like that one? That's good defense. Bring it short. What a game the Australian number six is having. Nutty. The kick. It's long. Oh, it's been dropped by the Gillaroos. Chelsea Baker couldn't handle. Whoa. That's a big play. And more pressure about to be piled on Australia. Their kicking game has been exceptional in the first 20 minutes of this game. The Ferns and unfortunate there for Chelsea Baker. They've been under the pump, the Gillaroos, and now this is a massive set in Outside the scheme of things up. here. Outside leg. Correct me if I'm Other wrong, Bobcat, but I, I think the it's Gillaroos it's have been afforded time in a lot girls. of their games in the pool. In the Kiwis game. just in put so front. much pressure on, and they just that time is taken away from them. We're really starting to notice that pressure now. Here's Hirame again, Renee, and Hirame, try number 13. Stop it. How is it possible? Gee, I'll tell you what, Brad Donald, the Australian coach, will be very disappointed in that. They had ample time to get their defensive line set. You've got to be better than that on your own line in a World Cup final. Well, it was a little scrum play. Muddy you. McGregor puts the ball in the scrum and pulls back. It was just a little tip on there and another four-pointer to Hirame. New Zealand 10, Australia 6. Moala in Jersey 11 for New Zealand. Isabel Kelly, great run out of acting Police half. Wrestled to ground by Nita Maynard. Now it's Corbin McGregor's turn. Simple plays at the moment. Move. Running from acting half, Please. getting in behind the markers. Oh. Eliana Walton. Tackled by Murray and Nutty. O'Mealy out there now in 14. Good play. She stumbled, cuts to Brigginshaw, Moran, here come the Gillaroos, yes, Caitlin Moran comes up with a beautiful four-pointer. Short side, 
but in saying that, it's good to get possession in good ball. Oh, what about Stand that? Out. Taufer. Oh. Play on, play Taufer on. was the first Jillaroo in. Combined with Eliana Walton. That was huge. And Eliana Walton on screen has caught the knock in the back of the head. What's this? Big in slow motion. Oh. It was still some of the big. hits. Been a massive feature of this opening half. What a game here at Brisbane Stadium. The Jillaroos of Australia lead the World Cup final over New Zealand by 12 to 10. The player of the tournament, who we just saw on screen, Portu Moala, has been fairly quiet in this game. Limited opportunities with the football. Spectacular catch here. Caitlin Moran is now wearing jersey 23, please note, 23 on the Australian halfback. For some reason, a switch jerseys from the traditional seven. So here come the Jillaroos, the Tigers in Sydney. Playing the ball. O'Mealy, a dummy, then goes to Brigginshaw and links up with the back row. Renee Kunst, who was running a good line, but the New Zealand defence saw it coming and then some. Great defence. Brigginshaw, again at first receiver, kick through, it came off a Burns player's leg, it's play on, Isabel Kelly is going to get her second try in the World Cup final. It was fortuitous, but in this game you make your own luck. Isabel Kelly, try number two for the day. Well, they certainly got a bit of luck here, Ali Brigginshaw going to the line. Federica, the ball bounces away, and what about it? Sat up perfectly for Isabel Kelly, but she was flying through, never dead on the play. Great four pointer to the center. Australia 16, leading New Zealand 10. Wrestled the ground by Moala and also Mao Mao. O'Mealy, Moran wants it on the outside. She comes to Renee Kunst, and Kunst put down by Nate. Here's Brigginshaw out of acting half. Looks up Eliana Walton. And Eliana Walton, as she's done so many times in this tournament, crashing over. I'm try. I'm OK with grounding. Just confirm she maintains possession on contact with the defender. Video ref to director. Well, New Zealand. That, yeah, so we just want to look at the, uh, from the, con like the lead up into the try, the contact. So this is a good shot here. So slow he makes slow. She got she has the ball there, has possession. Still has possession, so has a left arm around the ball. Still has it around the ball. She hasn't lost it at all. Happy that she hasn't lost the ball. Maintained possession, still got the ball, still got the ball, and ground the ball there. Happy with that. Water. And again coming. Brittany Brown. No shortage of ruggedness in these tackles. The girls are ripping and tearing. The third is Mario. Here we go. Crystal Murray. Ball away. Racy McGregor. New Zealand. They are back. Lovely work by the Ferns. They would not go to the ground with the football. 22-14. Well, she set up a couple of crackers today and a well-earned four-pointer. Marty Yu, she's been exceptional today. And Crystal Murray, strong offload. And McGregor gets a four-pointer for the Ferns. 22-14 to the Jillaroos. So, racing McGregor, the try scorer. Had a really good start to this game. Some magnificent passing. One of which led to the try to Honey Hiramiya. It was probably a 30-metre bullet pass. This time getting one for herself. At Brisbane Stadium, the crowd continuing to build. Racine McGregor. Grabbing a try in the World Cup final. The Jillaroos behind the goalposts in conference. 
They'll be saying we can't drop our intensity. There's enough time in this game for anything to happen. 69 and a half gone. Nutty, 15 metres out and 15 metres in from touch. Strikes it. Flags in the air. 22 16. We've got a grandstand finish coming up to this World Cup final. New Zealand are not done with, Andrew. The key players from the Ferns involved Marty Yu, Crystal Murray, her impact off the bench all tournament. And McGregor, she's been one of the four players out here this afternoon. Tony Benson, the coach, will be extremely happy with that one. It's exactly what they needed. If the Dillaroos score again there, the game's as good as over. run by Ashley Smalley, the 26-year-old, Nutty, pass away to the bench player, Amber Carney, the 26-year-old from counties in New Zealand, open side, again Crystal Murray, look at this, here comes New Zealand, Laura So, pressure building here on the Australians. Mario doubled to the fullback but took them on instead. Brittany Braley down low made a lovely copybook tackle. What a World Cup final. Rota, Murray, second phase, here they come. That could be a huge moment over, girls. in the context of this game. What about the scramble defence from the Gillaroos? Rorta, who again jumps out of dummy half, going down that short side. Woodman, Davis oh. Walsh was there. Hit on me, was looking for a third, but an error. Wow, sigh so of relief for the Gillaroos. New Zealand up in defence. Or rather, next best Australian in defence, Brittany Braley, sorry, with 26. That's amazing. So center field, New Zealand. One of their last throws of the dice. It comes to Florida Moala. And she's had an unhappy game today. Losing the ball. Caitlin Moran coming away with it for the Gillaroos. She was voted the player of the tournament coming into this match today. And unfortunately for Tawila has had her least impressive outing of the tournament. When New Zealand really needed her to be at her brilliant best. Taufa staggering at the line, understandable. She can't have anything left. 42 tackles, 14 hit ups. She's exhausted. Moran on the outside, it goes to Kezzy Apps. Kezzy Apps, half a break, brought down by Amber Carney. The Gillaroos are not done with. 30 seconds remaining in the World Cup final. Steph Hancock, tackled by Rorda. Braley into acting half. She might crack herself, New Zealand players laying everywhere, Braley goes out, a field goal coming up to Caitlin Moran and there it is, she's got it, Caitlin Moran has got the field goal and the Dillaroos defend their World Cup and we'll wrap it up here today. Here it is again, Caitlin Moran, beautifully positioned, bang! Straight over the back dot. 23 to 16, full-time score. And the Australians win their second consecutive Rugby League Women's World Cup Final.